Siemens provides free drafting software called Solid Edge 2D Drafting, which provides all the capabilities you would need to create and manage 2D drawings. Solid Edge 2D Drafting supports many different file types, from Solid Edge 2D and 3D files to other neutral 3D and 2D files such as Parasolid, Step, DGBG and DXF. Selecting a DGBG file gives us the access to the import options, where we can control and set how DGBG or DXF files are translated. The user has full control over the layers, templates, and the mapping of line types, colors, fonts, and hatching. Once open, the drawings come through correctly with all the layers present. Layers can be toggled on and off as required. Solid Edge 2D Drafting provides all the common drawing commands a user may want, including lines, circles, trims, extends, moves, and rotates. All the tools you need to create your drawings, just like you would inside AutoCAD. Dimensioning, annotations such as weld symbols and gd &T, insertion of images and text files are all covered as well. We need to make some modifications to the plan view. First, we'll add a dimension using the Smart Dimension command. The pocket feature needs modifying to make it deeper. This can easily be achieved with a combination of the offset, extend and trim commands, and then finished off with additional dimensions. A new slot feature is required on the plan view. Again, this is easily achieved using the symmetric offset command, where a width, radius and capping can be set to complete the required outcome. The addition of a couple of centre marks finishes the slot off. Just like that, we've quickly and easily added some dimensions, made modifications and added features to the drawing views. The only thing left to do is save the drawing back to a DGG file, setting the AutoCAD version and modifying the mapping as required. Next we'll look at how Solid Edge can work with your AutoCAD blocks. We have an entire library of AutoCAD blocks that we'd like to reuse. In the library, if we select the mic parts block, we'll notice several different parts and sub-assemblies available as blocks. We'll go ahead and assemble a mic caliper. We'll drag and drop the mic body sub-assembly into our drawing. Next we need the mic arm sub-assembly. So another drag and drop, but this time we need to position it to the body using the midpoint. A nameplate and two screws are required. These can be scaled to suit. So this short example shows how we can reuse blocks to create an assembly drawing in Solid Edge. At this point, it'd be nice to have a bill of material on the drawing of all the parts in the assembly. This can be achieved by selecting all the parts and sub-assemblies in the drawing. In the properties of the table under the column tab, I can choose what types of column I want. Once placed, the parts list displays the item numbers, block name and quantity. Balloons are also automatically placed and a quick tidy up is all that's required. In this example, we were able to reuse our AutoCAD block to build a view of this assembly, place a parts list and yes, even add balloons. To finish this demo, I want to open another AutoCAD drawing to show you that Solid Edge can work with any type and size DGG file and all of your company drawings will open and be ready for you to use at any time. You get all this and much, much more and the best part, it's free.